So in this tutorial, we are learning the cubes to walk on themselves to a certain point. Also, we are making a little bit of environment, fixing two box, and then we are moving further into the enemy. So before we are making the enemy, we are just fixing two small elements. Uh, I actually reinstalled my World of Warcraft and found out that I have made a mistake in the controlling, uh, which you can change. So here in the rotation I found out is actually Q and E is rotation and the striving is A and D so that's one of the things you can change if you want it to be the same the other thing was that I found out that when we are uh, fighting and if we right click it keeps going in and out and that kind of looks weird um, it's a problem in the coding so we found I actually made a little mark for myself to find it again. Um, if we move in if steer, yeah, we move this one and save it, then the bug would actually be done. So now we can right click and it won't happen. Uh, and then I found out that my rotation was a ten too high, so I reduced it. But when I reduced it there, um, there came a new bug. Um, or not a bug, well, more like a problem. And then in this steer rotation, I just added times two. And it kind of fixed itself. Uh, I think I could be more detailed about this one. And later when we are fixing more box, but for now that worked. So let's play again. Let's see if this steer. It seems better now. Yeah. And then we need to like duplicate our test scene and call the duplicated test scene for uh, character enemy test room and we go into the test room and we move the player and we take this enemy and call instead uh, example uh, NPC take the other one put up in the scene a bit and call it example player and in the prefabs you will take the example NPC, move in, and then we are going to create a little bit of environment. You can create your own. Uh, just a hint, don't spend too much time on this because you will change it a lot later. This is more for testing purpose. So I'm going to get some assets um, for this. And I had nature starter asset is a good place to start. So take this, open Unity, open, and fetching package. Import or download, if you don't have it downloaded, import. And also try to find something like a house or like an obstacle, something we can work around with. So for me, I will find like a statue I saw. Um, so on here, I find a, this was an angel statue. And this one. Open. Import and import. That. Then to the scene. We can source remove all of that assets. So in the terrain here, we can start making some grass on it. So let's say paint, uh, paint texture, uh, edit texture, create new layer, find the grass ground here, and I will do it the same others texture new layer 
background. That one more. That and then I will go in here and say at a tree, at a tree. Say what do we have? We have bushes and here's some trees. I like to add them. Put the bush down to one. So it will come more. Well, Go the trees that and maybe a bit here and then I would go you can sit and play around with this for a bit or skip ahead. Just gonna add a bit to the scene. So Bit of grass. Let me give it a bit here, and also we will make a little bit of um, raise the heights. Right. Too much. So if you take the opacity down, it will not be at all. So a bit here. And then we will smooth the height. Like that. Yeah, great. So now we made a little bit of environment and then we will also add, let's make a, a ground material. Take all of this into the ground material, take the ground material into materials like that. And then we will take the statue, the prefab, move it into the scene like that. Um, Make an empty called terrain. Ooh. Name spirit probably terrain. Then Okay, 
and let's see, we take the angel, turn it around like that, and because we moved the player, we already lost our camera, so we need to put in a new camera, main camera. And this is like more a testing scene for us, so we will not make a new camera script or anything. So let's see if we put it here. So you can go to game objective, align to view, and then when you hit play, the camera will be at that point where you're looking right now. So you can see it's the same. Um, also, if we go to our test scene now, everything besides the statue will actually be there. But for now, we are in the character test scene. So we're going to build a fundamental of how the player, NPCs, enemies and stuff are going to move around in the world. So it will be something we keep returning back to and implementing stuff on. But the first thing we want is to the enemy to navigate by themselves. So when we target them or aggro them, they will go to us and it will be smooth. So what we need to work on is baking. So AI navigation here. And there's a lot of thing in here we can change to make it better. But for now, we just bake it and we will turn to that. So what you see here is that every, everywhere it's blue, it's possible for our enemy to walk right now. And at these trees, it's not possible, nor is at the statue. And later we will change it so we actually can run in these spaces, but not for now, because the main goal is just for the baking and to be able to move around. So we take our sample NPC and example player and we could put, put the player in here. So it's not like a straight line. And the sample NPC will need a new script. We will call it AI Mover, like that. And you're going to need an, a Nash Mesh Agent, which will make it possible for it to move on the Nash Mesh Baking. So we will open the AI Mover. And we are going to use, using the Unity engine AI system for this. Uh, we won't have a start and we are going to have a serialized field transform target and this is just to show if it, to see and show if it's worked. So get uh, component nav mesh agent and then we set the destination. Where should it go? It should go to the target's position. So when we start the game, this uh, square box cube will go over to that cube. So what we need to tell it is that here in the AI, what is the target? It is the exam player. And then we hit play. And we can see it starts moving. And here it meets some obstacles, but it goes around it. So that part works fine. And you can actually use this also for like making cutscenes and stuff like that. So we will build on to this uh, idea of moving around. 